hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new and you love dollar tree diys budget decor and so much more i would love it if you became part of this crafty family by clicking the red subscribe button and then tapping the bell and all to be notified when i upload please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and for those of you returning thank you so so much for coming back i appreciate every single one of you so for today i have this beaded garland as well as this old candle jar upcycle i had a few laying around and I wanted to make some Christmas decorations with it. So with all that being said, let's get into today's DIY. So to start off, I am just taking some silver glitter, some thin iridescent glitter. I got this one from Dollar General, I believe, and then I take some chunky iridescent glitter, and this one I got from Walmart. So I wanted this to be a mix. You can use whatever glitter you like, but this is what I liked. So I just stick it in one of these little craft jars, shake it up to get it all well incorporated, and then I take my two jars, and if I had Hurricanes from Dollar Tree, that is what I would have used. But I had these old candle jars laying around, so I wanted to utilize them. So I take some matte Mod Podge, Mod Podge, excuse me, and I just take and pour some in the bottom, and then I just evenly... Um, disperse it throughout the inside of this jar. I then take my glitter and I just sprinkle it on the bottom and I sprinkle it on the sides as best as I can and then I just take the remaining glitter inside and I just shake it around. I kind of turn it, shake a little bit to the edge that way I know that the edge is getting covered as well and I do that for the whole inside making sure that everywhere that I had Mod Podge that glitter stuck to it. I then took my plate and poured the excess glitter back into the jar and did the second one. So while those are drying I take this pack of tree garland from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of five and then they give you little burlap ties so i end up using two packs because i ended up making two garlands i only show you guys one because i'm sure you guys don't want to see me do this twice so that's why you're going to see um double of this but anyway i just take six of them because we're going to be doing the word joy on both of them i wanted them to match so i just take my moss and my waverly chalk paint and i give my trees a good coat I then go in with just a touch of black on the edge of my paintbrush just to give it a bit of dimension and I do this with a lot of my projects. I just like the effect that it gives. If you don't like this effect, you don't have to do it. I'm just showing you what I do and what I like. So it's kind of funny how I came up with this technique. I'm a lazy painter and I dip right into the bottle. Sometimes if the colors coordinate, I won't even rinse the brush. And I was doing a project and I dipped into another color and I got this effect and I totally fell in love with it and I've been doing it ever since. But anyway, you again, you can do it however you like. So next, I just take my letters and I take my Mod Podge again. And these little brushes I got off Amazon, they're actually Mod Podge brushes and I love them so much. They come with three different sizes so um, you can use them for any size project. But I just give my letters a good coat of this Mod Podge and then I go in with my silver glitter 
and I know you guys glitter is scary to work with but when you're using it with Mod Podge it adheres really nicely and the glitter usually doesn't go all over the place so I just let them sit for a good while I put them aside and I start working back with my trees so the tree and I just take the bottom of my brush and kind of run it as if it was the bottom of the star um, the first one I did I just did a straight line and I didn't really like it so that's why I'm showing you guys how I did the straight lines at the bottom as if it was a star so next um, my candle jars are dried and I had this silhouette window cling from Walmart and I got it from my daughter but it's really really big so I knew that I could use it on a DIY and these aren't stickers they're just window clings so you can get different window clings and put them on here you can use you know stickers really you can leave them as is you don't have to do anything but I thought that it would look really cool with tea light candles inside and then you can see that silhouette so I take off the Santa and a reindeer the reindeer are going down so it the rest of the reindeer wouldn't fit on here so I just cut the rest off and I like the way it looks so I was happy with it so I take my next jar and I just cut out another reindeer and I stuck him right in the middle I then go in and I snip the tops because the tops were hanging off and you can't even tell. So I just go in with some more snowflakes and this is where I totally messed up. I went to get a sticker and it fell off and broke. So definitely stand yours up before you go to get another window cling or sticker. Um, but it's no big deal. I took all the wax out of these and just were reusing them anyway. So no harm, no foul. But I did end up with this really cool one up cycle of this candle jar. And wait till you guys see it all lit up. It looks so cool. So it is what it is. It happens. And next time I know to stand it up. So after you're all done, um, you take a tea light candle. Now in the end, I end up putting real ones in there and it looks much better. But this is what you should be left with. Next, for our garland, I just went and I measured where I wanted it to be. So I just put my fingers on it and I left a good bit on the end to work with so that when we're done, we can loop it to be able to hang it. So I just marked like where it would be hanging from edge to edge. And then that way, when I put my beads on, I know where to stop. So when you're working with these beads, you definitely don't want to go straight in with the edge of your twine. It'll only last for a few because it frays. So you want to take a piece of tape and I put it diagonally and I just kind of work with it and roll it into a point and then I take off the excess tape because you don't want a big piece or it won't fit through the bead. And this is kind of tricky to get it um, into a perfect point, but just work with it, squish the top, and if your piece is too big, just rip it off and um, go from there. So once I got my end, end all taped up, then I go in with my beads. So here you can see, I wanted to show you guys, if you have beads that are... Um, not all the way drilled out you just take the ends of your scissors and you go around and it opens up that hole much better so i'm done with my beads i put 71 on here in case you were wondering but i just tie a loop at the end and then i put a loop at the other end now the key to doing a beaded garland with ribbon is to definitely leave yourself some space because when you put your ribbon on here you're gonna need wiggle room if you have them tight it is really difficult to get your ribbon in there especially if you're working with different size ribbons like i am so after i put my loops on the end i 
make my loops big enough so that way if I need to tie them again to adjust the height, then I can. So I get my ribbons out. I count how many beads I have, and I did every two beads. So I have three ribbons, and I counted every two beads, and I divide that by three. And then I know how many pieces I need. So in this case, I needed 10 of each. And after I cut my ribbon, I just go ahead and alternate my ribbons. And I got the Buffalo Check ones from Amazon. I got a 25 foot roll for I think 11 bucks. I can link it down in the description box. It was a really good deal. It's really high quality ribbon and I'm definitely happy with that purchase and I will buy more if I need it. So the other two I got from Walmart and I can't remember exactly how much they were, but I think the red and black buffalo check was maybe three or four dollars, and the reindeer one, I believe, was four ninety eight. So I just go down the whole um, garland, alternating my colors, and this is what you should be left with. So after I'm done tying them, when I tie them, I meant to mention that I fold them in half and then tie them. It's easier to get it in between the beads like that. So I then just fluff them out because after you fold them, they stay folded until you fluff it. I then take my letters because they're all dried and I just adhere them to my trees. So I put the J and the O and the Y so one letter on each. After that's all done, I go in with the ties that came in the pack and I just use them to tie them to my garland. Now, I didn't put these on beforehand because you can't really tell like where you want them until you get your beaded garland done and I wish that I had spaced these out just a bit more, but I just found the middle. I put the O in the middle, and then I counted either six or eight beads to the left and then to the right. Um, I believe it was eight, but you just want to count your beads. That way you know exactly where... Um, your letters should go and then that way they don't look off. I'm big on um, things being even. I can't stand when pictures are on the wall crooked or you know things just look uneven. I just I, I'm just one of those people so I don't know if you care or not. If you don't care you don't have to count but if you're like me, then I would definitely count. And that is it. I just snip the ends off of the ties. And that quick and easy, you guys, you have a really, really cool beaded garland. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here is where I show you to, that I put regular tea lights in there. And I have done this before. So I just wanted to show you guys. It does not melt the glitter in the inside or the Mod Podge. Um, excuse me, Mod Podge. So I really, really love the way this turned out. It just looks whimsical and it gets you really ready for the holiday season. If you're watching a movie and you have this going, it just really puts you in the mood. So thank you guys so, so much to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. I love you guys so much. None of this would be possible without you guys. And I just really enjoy making these videos. I enjoy chatting with you guys in the comments down below. So don't forget to leave a like and a comment and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.